Hi, it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and I've decided to do a subscriber appreciation giveaway. Um, I have three sets of half pounds of jewelry to give away, maybe four actually. We'll see how how um, how many months I do this. So for there will be one uh, half pound for September, one for October, one for November, and maybe into December with a little bit of December goodies in it. Um, I'm looking for new subscribers and I'm also looking for more interaction on my channel. So um, subscribers who comment will get a draw in uh, that month's giveaway. So for the month of September, uh, you know, one or two comments. If you're a subscriber, one or two comments on the video um, and each comment will uh, get you into the draw. For my um, current subscribers, you get a bonus. I'm going to take your comments from the beginning of 2022, so from the beginning of the year, and I'm going to put them in the draw as well. So for the September draw, uh, it'll be all my current subscribers plus any new subscribers for September who comment will be in the draw. Then in October, um, we'll just add in any new subscribers who comment and uh, the original subscribers, September subscribers, the October subscribers will all have a chance in the draw. And then again for November and I'm going to say yeah for December as well. So I have a set of gold tone jewelry. I have a set of silver tone jewelry and I have a set of vintage jewelry and I have another set of jewelry which is um, going to be mixed and include some uh, winter seasonal type things. So the first is the gold tone jewelry and this is there way down there in my hand Nygaard. So a beautiful statement necklace um, red and black and rhinestones gorgeous that's part one. And the second gold tone piece is this Liz Claiborne necklace. It is a long necklace with stations. Here's the uh, Liz Claiborne tag. As you can see, it's ooh, got all these little gold discs here two stations of gold discs and so if we double it up it's probably about 36 inches altogether and with the lobster claw clasp you could probably do it double so that's the second designer piece um, the third designer piece is from Aero Postel there's the Aero and 1987 tag that's the year they were established Again, lobster claw class. This is a little shorter, probably 18, 24, but it's got lovely little pearl flower and rhinestone from the, hanging from the center of the chain. Then there's this colorful multi-strand necklace. Let me just find the clasp. And you can see that this is Charm and Charlie. Yes, we find Charming Charlie here in Canada. And this is a gorgeous piece. Um, and if I didn't have so much jewelry, I'd probably keep this to wear it. Um, it's lovely glass beads. So two strands of glass beads that come down to the bottom. And you can see there's larger beads here. A nice little design in the beads. So two strands like that. And then a gold tone uh, st strand with um, stations of these um, bezeled, I think those are glass, they're cold, yeah, bezeled glass beads. So, and they're nicely faceted, they really catch the light. So, there's four designer necklaces. Um, then I've included um, this handmade necklace shorter very pretty and some matching earrings so this is brand new and a pair of gold tone earrings hoops and then this pair of gold tone 
uh, here earrings very modern uh, almost symmetrical but I love the design very wearable with the mixed metals and then the last necklace is not signed it includes a pair of glass teardrop earrings and this lovely lovely um, heavy glass but not too heavy necklace with two glass teardrop stations and a toggle clasp looks like it's never been worn it's beautiful shiny so that's the first set of the gold tone jewelry for my subscriber appreciation giveaway subscribe and comment so next I have a vintage set of jewelry that I will be giving away in my subscriber appreciation. This is a beautiful red, white, and blue glass bead necklace. Um, I would say uh, there, oh, 48 inches maybe? And uh, just gorgeous. I'd love to keep it, but I have way too much jewelry. And then another vintage red bead necklace. You can wear them together, you don't have to. Um, then a Liz Claiborne, there's the mark. Uh, magnetic bracelet, beautiful fall colors, but uh, wearable any time of the year. So a beautiful Liz Claiborne necklace. Then there is this Monet pin, a classic swirl pin. Beautiful, beautiful Monet vintage pair of vintage clip-on earrings in faux pearls a pair of Monet earrings you can see the markings there nice dangly earrings again they're they're clip-on but they're very nice uh, gentle clip Then there is the, the jade flower brooch from Sarah Coventry, a beautiful uh, piece of jade stone. And there's the marking on the back, sorry, upside down, Sarah Cove. A pair of earrings and a brooch from Sarah Coventry. This is the petal lure design. And uh, you don't often get the full set together, you sometimes uh, find the brooch by itself and then hang getting the earrings is a little uh, getting the earrings with the brooch is a little more uh, unusual but not that unusual um, oh and the last Sarah Coventry piece I've forgotten the name of this um, but this is a made in Canada piece it looks very modern but it's uh, vintage and uh, there you got a very special made in Canada piece and finally, in this vintage lot, this electroplated orchid, a mini orchid, which is both a pendant and a, a pin. And it's got the star with a dot in its symbol, and I can't remember who that's from. Um, but I've had it for several years, so I'm saying that it's vintage. It's quite cute and, and very wearable. Um, so that's the vintage lot. This uh, last set of jewelry um, is the silver tone set that I'm offering as part of my subscriber appreciation. Um, I'll have to do a random draw to fix, figure out which uh, set I'll draw for first. Uh, this first piece is a Leah Sophia necklace. It's uh, quite long, it's silver tone uh, with oval and uh, rectangular stations, some which have um, glass faceted beads which spin and this is the necklace doubled up in length so let's see that's 18 they're about 36 inches long so that's a Leah Sophia piece we have a three bracelet set from DK Jewels and these are very nice you can wear them individually they're flexible um, together um, a very attractive set and they come in their own little pouch I'll 
that off to the side it's from DK Jewels. Uh, there is this Max necklace, I guess. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. I know that the uh, maker is M E Kiss Kiss. It's um, the name came from the uh, owner taking the first letter of two perfumes he had created, M and E, and then adding two X's at the end for two kisses. So I'm not sure the actual, if there's an actual pronunciation for that or not. But this is a lovely modern necklace, brushed silver, and then a glass centerpiece. And so here's a pair of earrings that are similar in shape. They're nice uh, cut metal, silver tone. And uh, so they echo the shape of that. They're, they don't match, but you can certainly wear them together. Then we have this Nygaard piece. You got it to focus. There we go, Nygaard. And again, it's a lobster claw with extender. And then it's these things always get tangled as soon as I want to show them on camera. Okay, so we have uh, a single chain that comes down to uh, three hammer discs on each side, and that's about 18 inches to that point, and then another, well, a total of 18 inches below that. So then there are one, two, three, four chains below that. So a very nice, stylish um, silver tone necklace from Nygaard. Um, and I have a couple of pair of earrings, silver tone pair e earrings. These are uh, electroplated uh, skeletonized leaves. So very lightweight, but um, a nice length and you could wear them with anything. And a pair of hoops in excellent shape. And then the final necklace in the group is a Tresca necklace from uh, Texas. And this one too always wants to tangle. So let's see if I can get it to untangle it. Uh, this one doesn't want to cooperate. There we there we go. Okay. So again, um, there's the Tresca tag. And it's three strands. It's mixed metal, but I included it here. Um, so about a little, about 22 inches to the first um, focal. And then there are two additional gold tone chains with silver, hammered beads. So 22, about 24, and then another maybe six inches. So there, um, there's quite a very variation in length, but I think uh, that it would look, it looks quite lovely in that way. So that's the silver tone lot. So please uh, subscribe, um, comment if you'd like, try to answer some of the questions I pose in my videos. And the end of September, I will do the first drawing with uh, all the new subscribers and those who've commented. Thanks very much. It's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes.